ministry. Well, I'll ask Daniel because he's not here. No, he can't. Well, his father was shot. No, Bill. The evil Bill. Bill is deep inside the cave. Hello, Bill. Just, just gotta put that thickness in it. Bill. Armless enough. <laughs> Uh, well, he was still one arm, so he was still one arm. So, uh, I, so I guess being a bit of a bandit, you could have called him one arm bandit. <laughs> I'm calling him bandit because he was trying to steal the fortune. But yeah, you finally made it, Richard. Why would you do such a thing? I was doing a test run on Trace. It was a success. A test run. Jesus Christ. So, against someone's will, you decide to fuck with their memories. Bloody hell, how? Jesus. Congratulations, Richard. You. Hmm. Why did you pretend to be my father? You're a sick, sick person. He certainly is. Calm down, Ashley. I got to witness a girl's reunion. With her father after an eleven year separation. That's just made it sound a lot more creepy. At first, I was acting, but after looking into your earnest eyes, I could feel my heart warm. Oh, and and Bill's heart grew two times, <laughs> grew five times that day as he sat down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. As he sat down to eat who pie at the who place, with all the who's in Whoville that day. <coughs> I just lost, I just lost track of what they were called for a second. But yeah, the, uh, Bill, you have your mother's eyes. When I saw those eyes. I wanted to be your father, even if short for a short while. Oh, I wanted to be your daddy. Oh, no. This is really messed up. You're a whole person, Bill. Yeah, he is. I, I completely agree with you that Ashley is a horrible person. Misguided, perhaps. Maybe lonely, but surely not horrible. Yes, you are! You lied to me! <coughs> you did horrible things to the people closest to you! Closest to me? You heard me! Dad and Jessica are your friends! How can you treat your friends that way? <laughs> You're wrong, Ashley. What do you mean I'm wrong? Richard and Jessica are no longer my friends. But they were! Ashley. Adult relationships are very complicated. Sometimes, the closer you are to someone, the more it hurts. But yeah, sounds more like a sociopath. When things go wrong. So, is that why you hurt Jessica and rewrote Dad's memory? Bill! Why did you do that to Jessica? She... I really didn't plan it that way. I didn't think I would see her here. Just getting new about you, so you... Yes, I'm not proud of it. You're not proud of it, but you still... Grab, grabbed a woman against her will, knocked her out with uh, a drug, and then tied her up in, a, in the bloody uh, pantry. Richard. Seems that you hadn't told Jessica about me. That's what we agreed on, isn't it? Mm, yes, I suppose. Actually, listen to me. I wasn't planning on hurting her. That's not why I did it. I wanted you to believe I was your father. Jessica was in the way. But 
Why would you pretend to be my father? It's so creepy. Yeah, it, it is fucking creepy. Here's a simple answer. You needed to be there for the second trace protocol. Why did you rewrite my dad's memory? I already explained that to you. I was just taking trains for a test drive. No, you're lying! You wanted dad to believe that he killed mum. Why do you think that? It's all becoming clear. How convenient for you if... Convenient for me? What do you mean by that? It would be very convenient for you if Dad was the killer. What are you saying? Are you saying that I am the one who killed your mother? You're a bad little girl, Ashley. Oh, for fuck's sake. To accuse someone of such a heinous crime without proof. Richard, did you fill her mind with all this poison? Cut it out, Bill. Don't talk to her like that. Ah, uh, who knew you were capable of such paternal words? I suppose it's like riding a bicycle. You never forget how to act the part of the father. Even if you haven't for over a decade. Shut up. Yeah, I tell him to shut up as well. Stick it in his cake hole. Uh, secretary phone call. What do you mean you need me for the secretary's phone call? No, it's right, Ashley. Your father was hired to complete his research and create trace. You received a third-party grant as well as my resources. However, he wanted to keep a part of trace. He pulled this off by implanting the biometric information of his own daughter in the production model DTS. It wasn't his to keep. I came here after receiving word that Trace was complete. On the way, I checked his notes on that PC and discovered all of this. But he clearly didn't hide it well, did he? Bill. Actually, your father is the horrible one. No, he isn't. Pretend to be my friend, but then he stabbed me in the back. You can blame him for the death of our friendship. So... So you're claiming you were stabbed in the back and that's why you did all this. Bill, do you know who my mother's murderer is? Can you handle the truth? Yes, I can. The person who killed your mum has still not been caught. The authorities have no evidence or witnesses. Except for one. One person saw your mother's murder. Yes, there was one witness. Ah! I see where this is going. The witness is Ashley. Who was it? Bill, stop! The girl wants to know, Richard. Who was it? Who saw my mum get killed? Ashley, that person is you. What? It was you. Don't listen to a thing he says. Dad, the details of what happened to your mum. You don't have to think about that stuff anymore. But I want to know. Why are you always like this? What do you mean by that? You ignore the truth and see only what you want to see. You saw it all, Ashley. You saw the shooting. You saw your mother draw her last breath. Stop talking about that night. Why? Did you want Ashley to know the truth? I don't want to make her relive that whole, that terrible tragedy. Ah, uh, of course. Always a considerate father, Richard. Don't be snide. That day, 11 years ago, when Serco lost her life, Ashley suffered amnesia for the shock of what she'd seen. All she would do when she saw my face was cry. I was at a loss. You came to me and told me of the research you were doing here. Dad. Bill, there was a reason I didn't tell you I was working. 
working on developing a second trace protocol. I'm sure you've guessed it. Yes, please entertain us. I didn't tell you because... I wanted to replay Ashley's memory of that night with the second trace protocol and find Seiko's killer. So, you use the government and my money to fund this? And after I found the killer, I wanted to remove the negative memory of Ashley's with the first trace protocol and replace it with the second different one. What if Bill really isn't the killer and he's telling the truth? What if the killer really is... Her aunt? That's quite a plan. Dad, I get it. That's right, actually. I should remember. I did it for you. Stop it! Stop what? Stop the self-sacrificing father act. It's getting old. What are you talking about? Like you didn't know what trace would be used for. So, Richard, let me see if I've got this right. It was your sentimentality and memories of the past that made you lie to me for the past 11 years? It wasn't like that. Richard... You must be the biggest idiot alive. You knew how to develop trace, but you didn't know how to use it. How to use it? Bill, what do you mean? You don't know what it can be used for? Well, let me tell you. You can use trace to manipulate someone's memories to create the reality that you want. It's basically what you wanted to do. No! I didn't create trace to be used like that. No, 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 You should understand this more than anyone else, Bill. I developed, I developed Trace to help people. Oh, give us a rest, Richard. I'm tired of your holier-than-thou attitude. It's really dull. Trace is mine, and I will decide how it is used. No! Come on, I'm one who had to foot the bill for this research. And I am the one who should benefit from the results. But... You said yourself that Trace is meant... Trace is meant to help mankind. I thought that that was why I was working here. Those are pretty lofty words. And here I thought it was just your inability to cope that caused you to make Ashley an orphan. I thought it was your weakness that made you hide from reality. Not any grand goals for humanity for 11 years. For 11 years, you reveled in your solitude and research. Never thinking of the cost. Who did you think paid? Me and Ashley. And you call yourself a man. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. What? That's why I hired you. What do you mean? Your ability to ignore everything outside your work. Anyways, Trace is done. I'm through with you. I wouldn't let this happen. Hey, Rain, how you doing? <laughs> Did he just tap him on the chest? <laughs> Bill! It, it kind of looks like he's just sort of... Or is he grabbing his shirt? You can't use Trace this way. I won't let you. I knew he'd have the fucking gun. There you go. If I were you, Richard, I would shut up right about now. No. Bill, what are you doing? Ashley, though you've just met though you just met him, it's time to say goodbye. Please don't. I need to tell Dad something. No. Please, let me tell him who killed Mum. I don't think so. Ashley, I don't think there is anything that you want to say to Richard. You said you didn't remember the face of your mother's killer. But 
You said that I saw it. You said that I am the only person who saw Mum's killer. But I went so far as to develop Trace to find Mum's killer. And that's why I need to tell him. Even without using Trace. Without using Trace? I just need to remember. I need to remember and tell my dad. So much like Sayaka right now. My heart is breaking. Alright, Ashley. I'll take my time pulling the trigger. Now, say goodbye, Ashley. Oh, is it? If I do that, it goes off. Uh, maybe I'll just... Uh, lower the thing by a couple of decibels. Uh, right. Let's give that a go. No, so bad. How's that now? Is that better? I've loaded it by a couple of decibels, so I'm hoping it's better. Is that okay, or does it need to go down a bit further? Do you think? Say goodbye, Ashley. Don't do this, Bill. Ooh, we got a mini game. All right, Ashley. Say goodbye to your father. But just out of curiosity, the night your mother died, what happened? What was that? I missed that shit. Someone came in. I remember waiting for Dad and Mum, and suddenly we heard footsteps. And Mum realised that someone was inside the house. Circa so realised that someone was in the house. And then what happened? Um. Maybe the closet? She had to protect you because your father wasn't there to do it. Mum told me to be completely silent, quiet as a mouse. She opened the closet and hid me inside. So, Ashley turned this goodbye into a stall down memory lane. I'm sure you're very pleased. She is the only reason that you're still alive right now. Say goodbye now. I don't want to do this in front of you. Remember any more, and you'll regret it. I understand. Are you sure? Yes. Lashley, you replayed your father's, me your dad's memory using Trace. Yes. How did you replay it? I used a white DTS card to replay its current memory. Then I used a red DTS card to replay the true memory. Lashley, how do you know? That the red DTS card was the true memory. Because he said so. Is that so? Yes. But your father was lying to you. He does have a history of seeing only what he wants to see. What if the memory you play the white DTS card was real? Bill, what are you saying? Dad? Actually, Bill's lying. Killer's face, you remember? It was your father's. What then? So, you were hiding in the closet, alone and scared. And where was your father in all this? At work? Or was he busy killing Sayoko? When you were in the closet, what happened? Sirko's voice? Yes, I heard my mum's voice. Ashley, what did Sirko say? What did you hear? Can't have Trace. I think it was a can't have Trace, yeah. So she wouldn't give up Trace. 
Seems a silly thing to give her life. That's what she said. I remember. Bill, don't. You can still end this. I know. We're close to the climax. I will let you know the truth. <coughs> Seems the only way to win this. <laughs> but those words will be the last you ever hear. Ashley, take your time remembering the rest. This is the important part. <coughs> Did you hear something after you heard your mum's voice? Footsteps or a gunshot? I think it's... Do you hear footsteps? Did the suspect leave? No, there are no footsteps. Whoops! It's a... Uh, 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 uh. Must have been the gunshot, because she said you can't have trace, and then BOOM! <coughs> DS... Yeah, it is DS game. It's such a DS game that even the in-game uh, machine is a DS as well. <laughs> then, what did you do? Uh, I picked out the closet. Now, what did you see? I can't remember. I was coming back. I saw the face of the person who killed my mother. It was Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. <coughs> well, so what I saw from the inside of the closet, it all starts to appear like a photo. I see a shoulder and whisper hair. Then a pair of stony eyes. There's my eyes to sharpen the image of my mind. I knew it. Hey, that face belongs to. Being out of the closet, who did you see? It was... Bill! Well, the hair it does look more like him than it does a father. It was you! Oh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Bill, you did it. Shut up! don't understand. Why would you- How could you- I said shut up. I didn't you suspect anything? Yeah, it was kind of obvious. That's yeah, kind of odd. <coughs> it is. If you, if you saw earlier, uh, Rain, there's even little what they call DTS cards, which are basically the, you know, the little um, game cards that would go inside the DS. Y you know, like, um, yeah, you know, the little, uh, Cars that go inside the DS. Actually, I think I've got one around here. Yeah. Basically, it looks just like this. <laughs> and the and the little cards look exactly like this. You know, the little uh, little mini cars that go into it. Yeah, the game cartridges. That was it. Also, mine is a bit. Mine is a bit kind of. Fucked as you can see, it's a, uh, it's coming off a bit. But you know that's that's kind of what happens when uh, you leave it alone and don't know where it's gone. Yeah, it's a modern immer immersion. In fact, it reminds me of this. I, I swear, I think I've played one or two other games that are like this. One annoying thing, I spoke to someone on a different stream about this. There was a puzzle in this game I couldn't for the life of me figure it out, right? You had to do prints on this paper. And I had no idea. None of the uh, none of the uh, buttons or anything were working. But do you know what did work? The button to shut The button to shut the DS closed. You know, like that. Because the ink bit was up here and the paper was there. So you have to shut the DS and pull it back. Like if you actually, like if you actually, you know, 
pressed on a print. So as you can imagine, that got me stuck for ages, because nothing I did worked. And then when I realised you're meant to press the button to close the close the game, uh, that's the solution. <laughs> <coughs> you think it, but you can emulate it. Watch. That's what happens when you press the button. I thought I fuck I thought that game that button fucked the game up because it messed it up for Lost in Blue, but it does work. They do have it emulated. They do have it emulated, so that's fine. How could I? You are my friend. What weren't you able to ask 11 years ago? You mentioned it in your letter. I think you know. Well, please clarify for Ashley. Guess it really depends on the game. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it depends on the game because it messed up with Lost in Blue because because of course uh, when you close it like that normally for games, it like puts it in a standby mode, you know. Which is probably why it messed up for me when I was trying to press out of it <laughs> but for that game it was being used as a uh, as the print why did you kill Sioko? answer me why did you kill her Sioko betrayed us us what do you mean us the project our country and me you're telling me you didn't know Zirka was one of us, one of us. What? Trace was developed in the government's secret lab. Zirka and I were the driving forces in the project's progress. It was just the two of us. Then, we chose you to join us. Wasn't the old game that did that with a power button on the side of older consoles? That does sound familiar. But what it also reminds me of is Metal Gear Solid with uh, Psycho Mantis, where he fucks around with your memory card. It's like, oh, I like to see you play games, and then uh, yeah, changes your controller from controller one to controller two because he's a dick. He's a dick all like that. <laughs> uh, well, one of the people I follow, Terrascope, he uh, well, he's play he's a big uh, Metal Gear Solid fan, but he's also a really big Resident Evil fan as well. And he, he did a whole thing where he went through all the Metal Gear games. That was a lot of fun, that was. But yeah, he says about, you know, Oh, I see you like to play a lot of games. I can read you like an open book. There's something about changing the game's time to make the end. Oh, yeah, that was, that was Snake Eater, because the boss called the end. If you change the time and do it for, like, I think it's a week, he dies of old age, which is kind of funny. If you change it to a month, you find yourself locked up in a prison. <laughs> which is just kind of... <laughs> it's it's kind of like one of those meta jokes that uh, Yartsy, Yartsy made when he was saying about... Um, when he was saying about, you know, have you ever wondered if, like, all those games he left unfinished if there are like people now enslaved by a dark lord going oh we were putting all our money on this hero and then one day he just stopped still while approaching the final castle but yeah it's, it is cool one of those interesting meta things so that's like huh that's strange <laughs> But yeah, if I remember, uh, Psycho Mantis also fucks with your television setting as well and changes it. So you have to change it from uh, like a different setting to see anything because he's an asshole. Anyway, just the two of us that we chose you to join us. But just as the project started taking off, Seoku betrayed me. She took up with you. Then you two stole the trace essay and hid it on hid it in your house. I mean, you can find lots of footage of that online with the uh, Psycho Mantis battle. You see, and see how it breaks the fourth wall. Actually, there was a thing I saw. There's a easy way to kill a vi like an easier way to kill this one villain, Snake Eater, that he did. 
I didn't get what he did because of course I've never played the Snake Eater game. But for some random reason, he takes this thing that kills Snake, so he just falls down dead. And that's when the boss appeared. And the boss looks over his body and is like, oh, I guess he's dead. And then, you know, that boss was being evasive and everything to like hide in the forest like he's an actual snake. And then when he realized, oh, snake's dead. Oh well, he turned he turns away, walking away. And then you activate a button to wake yourself up and then start attacking him. <laughs> Which I think is amazing. That night, before I went over to your house, I begged her. So cool. Fleet was to turn the essay and come back to the project. But she wouldn't listen. I didn't want to hurt her. But Trace didn't belong just to her. It was my work too. But she just wouldn't listen. So I made her listen. Is he stepping back? Stop! Hey, who are you? Oh no, you can see the ghost! Answer me! Stop! Ah! You're making Fanny cry! Ooh! Hey! Oh shit! Whoa! No! They still saved him! Bill! It's the end, Richard. 